Today we're going to review the RBM Outdoors Caminus M wood burning stove. Let's unbox it, do a first burn, and do a quick review. We're going to unbox our RBM Outdoors Caminus M hot tent wood stove. See it comes in this box. Pretty nice sturdy handles. I was just sitting on the box. It's pretty sturdy. So you can see here. Pretty, pretty sturdy box. Nice for transporting so you don't break the glass if you're worried about that. There's everything in there. So this bag is really thick and strong. So we're going to take everything, set it out, show you what comes with it. So everything pretty well comes packed all inside the stove in here. And then when you flip it up, I just wanted to show, I've seen some different videos on it. These legs are attached. So they're pretty simple to work. You just kind of push this little tab and then they, they come out and you set it up. So the stove is set up. There's no pegs or nothing to put in or nothing like that. So we'll put the, those out and then we'll kind of show you what comes with it from there. Here's everything that came with our RBM Caminus M. You can see five exhaust pipes, vent pipes. You can see that the furthest one to the right has the the shield for protecting the ashes popping out. You got an instruction manual, the gloves, an ash scooper. And then this piece right here is an extra piece. So right inside this is the glass. We'll show you that in just a second. Here's the stove. It does have a door on it. One thing I wanted to point out is it has this drawer, but there is no holes, so no ash is falling down. It's got to be some sort of heat shield or for pulling it out. Maybe when you scoop hot ash, you can put into it and go dump it. We have the, another extra piece here in case your glass breaks. I believe these are gaskets, so if the glass breaks, you need to wrap this around it. Here's the bag it comes with, and it's extremely, extremely sturdy. It has a front pocket on it. You could put your stove in there and carry it around. It does come with the heat shield for the ground and that holds the heat shield there. Then we have the box that it came in. M. I wanna measure the box here real quick because one of the big concerns we had uh, was, will you be able to buy a wood if you need to? If you end up in a jam and you can't go out and get it, would you be able to buy it and have it fit in there? Um, we do car camp, so that makes things a little bit different than if you're hiking this. So we just wanted to make sure the box was big enough to hold that, or we may have to just do a little bit of splitting. Here's the owner's manual for the Camin SM medium wood stove. In case we're curious, can stop the video and kind of see the specifications. So we're gonna see here, up until we're at Denson, we're in the back, it's about 19 and a half inches. I believe standard wood's right around 16, so we should be pretty good there. So we're 19 and a half inches on length. The door is showing about, well, just over seven. You can see there. And then let's see here. And then the width is just about six and a quarter. So you got about a seven this way, just over it. And then the inside of the box appears to be about nine. So we're going to see here in just a minute that we do notice some of the pieces have oil on them so they do recommend doing a first burn and then when you look at these high sides we're told that um there's a way to keep the heat in and put rocks up there and make some of these tents hot tents we have an inflatable so we're just looking to cold weather camp but what you can take these side shields and they pop on and off really easy with these wing nuts and you can see there so the inside of your tent uh, you're going to have nice heat and these are some, some sort of ceramic glass that kick out much better heat. So we're going to put it together and do a first light on it so we can burn the oils off and things like that. And something else I want to show, right here you got some tie downs on your very top piece. And that's just so you can, in case it's windy out, you can guide this down. And it's kind of neat. Right when you look inside there for where your exhaust is, you got a little bear on there. So. We're going to light this up. I'll probably take this panel off too and just see how easy it is. Again, like I just mentioned here, you can just kind of loosen these up and it just slides right off. So here we have the stove put together. 
pretty easy to do. They just slide together for the most part. And we took the side shield off. So that's what it's gonna look like. There's the side shield heat protectors, stuff it comes with. Box is nice, you don't necessarily have to take it with you, but you can. Got a couple extra gaskets and new side shields should you break the glass. There's your heat protector in the bag. So there was some little bit of a film or something on it. Um, we've heard you gotta do a burn or you should do a burn before you put it in your tent and light it. So I'm gonna do that now. I'll go grab a little wood and we'll light this thing up. All right, so we just covered the stove real quick. We'll be, can't wait to do some videos on this when we actually are cold weather camping. But here's the little load of wood. We're gonna put it in there. This piece here was pretty big. So I was unsure if it'd fit. It's like 20 inches long, but it does. So kind of fits good enough. So we're gonna load this up, see how this burn goes. So we're putting this big monster piece kind of on the bottom. <laughs> we're just gonna kind of build on it. There we go. Kind of see how it looks. Let's load all these littler pieces up. Thing I want to point out about this stove that's interesting, along the top here, right above this, there's like a baffle with an opening back here. So it makes all the smoke and all the heat go to the back and then come out to the front. So the whole top surface of this gets really good and hot. I guess it'd be nice to cook on, uh, better for heat. Um, so I wanted to mention something about the baffle. Um, there is a baffle running here, has most of the heat and smoke go up. But the bear that we showed earlier, which is right there, does go right into the firebox. Even though all around it, that you see is a baffle, but the bear does go into it. So a little bit of smoke comes out of the front, most of it goes around to the back. I'm assuming that helps with the ash and the heat distribution. Uh, maybe, you know, hot sparks coming out of the top. For heat. Um, seems to be very well constructed. The legs are attached. The heat shields are easy to put on and off. Uh, it's relatively light. It's, it's not hard to carry even in that bag. There, we'll do this. Okay. See people do this in their videos, and their fire seemed to get going really good. So we had one in the garage. We're doing plumbing. Figure we'll, we'll try it too. Um, seems to be a really good idea because it creates that instant updraft I've noticed. So, well, that seemed to get it going pretty good. Well, I used a propane torch and it blazed right up. I held it on it for maybe five or ten seconds. You can see it was enough to at least get it started. It did rain last night, so wood seemed to be pretty dry. So I checked it out pretty good, but it might have been a little damp. So, um, and I didn't split it up as much as I'm going to once we are out camping with this so first burn i can tell you now it's just now just starting to heat up and i can kind of smell like either the the metal kind of heating up or the oils or something the packing oils on it kind of burning off can already kind of smell it so we're doing our first burn on it too as we're unpacking it just so we can get out and use it in case we get the time so the RBM Caminus M stove seems pretty high quality, easy to use, and comes with everything you need. Down to the gloves, the ash scooper, uh, seems to be well built. You hear a lot of good things about it. It comes with a nice box, carrying case, just everything you would need, even some replacement parts. The only thing we're really disappointed in is we don't have any of the, the steel uh, designs on each side of the glass that had the bear and some sort of woods that RBM likes to put on some of their stoves. If we can buy it, maybe we will. We were hoping to get that. Of course, not a deal breaker. We're just wanting to get out and do some riding in the, and then camping in the cold. Is that ever gonna be nice and cozy in a tent on a cold day, snowstorm, cool night. Can't wait to do some cooking and just hanging out around it. There's the wood we just rounded up from our yard and it is really kicking out some heat I can feel it from a few feet away standing outside so got a little more wood split up doing the initial burn it's really kicking but we can see our fire is really burning smokes almost stopped it's been about 10 minutes you can feel the heat even outside still got that smell that chemical smell I was mentioning although a couple things the reason we bought this one um it comes with everything and it goes to the tent that we own 
Um, we're told via the internet and YouTube videos that it was very well built. Um, so that should be good. That's what we're hoping for. And also the firebox loading and unloading. We didn't want some sort of uh, different type of loading and unloading for the front. You know, some sort of thing you pull off or something as cool as those are. We wanted just a typical door and we wanted to be able to hold full pieces of wood. So if you have to run to the store and buy some, you may have to split it with your ax. Uh, you may not. So far, the door seems to be plenty good. Uh, we want to be able to fit larger pieces of wood. And we're told that with a stove around this size that you can uh, put wood in it and it'll last a lot longer. So if you fill it with some oak before you go to bed or you just want it to burn for a while, I don't know if the camera's picking it up, but out here you can kind of almost see the metal kicking off some heat, some really, really a lot of heat. And I'm not sure if it's just a little bit of the, the oils that were possibly rubbed on it or on it from the manufacturing process. Um, but this thing really kicks out heat, supposedly holds a good amount of wood and is well built, comes with everything. Uh, we haven't used it yet so we'll definitely you'll see that in some of our videos but so far the unboxing of it and the initial burn seems to be as good a stove as any uh, we almost got a winter well and we think that would have probably been just as good as far as we know haven't checked them out uh, but this rbm caminus m is so far seems to be just what we thought it would be minus the engravings on the side which is petty but uh, they look pretty cool if you see a video with those so we do want that About 10 minutes into the burn, maybe a little bit more, we've noticed too, there's just no smoke. You can see heat coming out of the top, but no smoke. So it is burning very clean. Kind of burning it wide open right now, just, just getting the first burn out of the way. You can hear it. Let's see if I can get close. You can hear the stove crackling a bit. The heat of this stove. So the heat of this stove is really kicking out around the glass, kind of around the top too. I'd say you know the glass is radiating it better than I think the steel is. The thing that's interesting is on the back of the stove we still have the heat shield, and I put my hand right here. I can't even feel heat at all. Nothing. If I touch it, it's it's pretty hot. So I'm assuming if I put these heat shields back on where they go onto the sides here, um, it's really going to prevent the heat from kicking out. The owner's manual does show the specifications for how close to let this get, um, but what's I just can't get over this. I mean, I'm putting my hand right there, and I can't even feel a one degree temperature difference. But here, I mean, you can't get any closer than that, and it's burning. It's really radiating the heat. So these heat shields must really be nice for keeping the, the heat away. And underneath, exact same thing. Um, as we go around to the front, it's got some interesting stuff here because it does have this you can grab it because it's spring this doesn't uh, uh, this box here does not attach into the firebox so no ash is going to fall into it you may be able to scoop into it i'm assuming um, but it's i mean the heat shield of it, it's amazing you can't feel even a one degree difference i'm sure there is i don't have a thermometer with me um, but the sides and the top are really kicking out the heat where i don't have the shields currently on and the bottom and the backs like none so it really does do its job. Here we go on the inside of it. So it is holding the wood pretty good. I got the damper wide open. No particular reason why, I just do. But you can see here, I had it wide open. Um, just kind of, and I can, you can kind of damp it down. I mean, look how quick. If you damp it down, the fire just boom, almost goes out. So we're just kind of doing the initial burn. I'll halfway do it. I'll load some more of this wood in here from the yard but it is it is seeming to hold up pretty good as far as uh it's going to burn for just a bit seems like it took about an hour for the oil you know sealant treatment uh the smells of that to burn off still smell it faintly at about an hour but now you can just really feel it kicking out the heat Well, one of the things we really wanted to do was cook, make coffee and tea on this. So we're going to take this. I just filled this with cold water. So filled with cold water, put it right in the middle of the stove, and it is 10.30 a.m. So we're going to see that whole thing's full of cold water. We'll start seeing when we see it bubble up in here. 
just how long it takes. I overfilled it a bit even too, just to see how it works. You know, I'll even open the damper up and then we'll time it. See how long it would take. That's a basically, well, take a look. I'll show you here. You can see it's a coffee percolator. I didn't put coffee in. I just filled it with cold water to see how it would do. Simulate camping, being out in the woods. So after about 40 minutes, it's got it to 184. Okay, well, this took about 40 minutes to get to 185. I am gonna take it off real quick, show you, because we wanna do some cooking on it as well. So here's, I believe, about a 12 inch skillet, give or take. Um, that fits on there really nice. So we'll be able to do that. You know, maybe hang it off where there's no heat coming off, off the sides where the heat shield is, but should work out really nice. I'd also like to show you, we have this Ultra Air Echo Fan, heat powered stove fan. So we're gonna put that on there. I know we're outside, um, but that is gonna be in there in our tent when we have it going. Even in our current tent, when we cold camp, uh, all the heat goes to the top of the tent. It'll be 100 degrees up top and like 30 or 40 down low. A really drastic difference. So we're going to put this fan on, and we do also have fans for the top of the tent uh, that we're going to use. We just don't have that tent yet. But when we get it in the next few days, um, we also have fans, so we'll burn the stove. We're going to put this on top of the stove and then, you know, also have one at the top of the tent. But let's put this on there now, even though we're outside, and see how it works. Just put the fan on the stove. You can really see the heat just pouring out of this, but it's just not percolating yet after about 45 minutes. Oh, well, there it goes, it kind of kicks up on its own. First time we've used it. In the tent, we're hoping this helps just a little bit. So I took a few seconds for the echo fan to kick on. Ours is, this one here, shows it does 125 cubic feet per minute. Warm air circulation uh, starts on its own. Doesn't cost anything to, to run it. Uh, says it's safe and silent. And so we put it on there. We are outside, but I just wanted to kind of check it out. I can feel a nice little breeze coming off it. So it's gonna be interesting to see if that helps in the tent, especially if it's really cold and you're wanting to kick that warm air around versus all of it going up to the top of the tent. Hour. Curious if any of you out there have been winter camping, use a wood stove in your tent, your trailer, camper, anything like that. Well, we've been burning the stove for about two and a half hours. I actually put a lot of the wood away. It's burning really nice. Seems like it's gonna be a great heating stove. Just to recap here real quick, the stove comes with everything you need. Um, I've had the water up there for an hour, uh, about 40, 45 minutes, it got to 185. Now it got to about 200, but it did not percolate within that hour. I just mixed the wood up a little bit. Stove comes with everything you need. You can see the extra side shields, should you break the glass the bag, you know, the, the extra gaskets, the carrying case, the gloves, um, you have pretty much everything you need. Seems to be extremely well built. A um, couple of things that I'd like to see, I'd love to see, uh, have the decoration on the side. Uh, it does seem to sit a little unlevel. I put it over on other ground as well. It seems like with all the legs, it does not sit perfectly level. And I'd have loved to have seen a grate in the inside. So basically you're just burning your fire on the bottom. And even if it was a little more U-shaped would have been nice because when the wood hits the glass, it kind of turns the glass black and I believe you can just wipe it off. But uh, overall, this stove seems to be everything you'd want it to be for inside of a tent and some. It's not all that heavy, seems to be very well constructed and really kicks off a nice smooth heat. It took about an hour to not really smell those uh, seam, seam oils or whatever the seam stuff was that they talked about. and. Um, you can still kind of tell though, even after a couple hours, you can notice a little something in the air. Um, but we're going to burn that wood out, clean it out, and then pack it all up. Can't wait to use it on a trip. Again, this is the RBM Caminus M Hot Stove. I'm Dirty Jack. Hope to see you out camping and on the trails.